dash it off. Hey yo, I appreciate it if you could hit that like button right about now. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people? Hey, before the video we even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bones. Let's get it. Alright, so I'm going to assume everybody knows what Snopes is. Snopes is the website that when people make some kind of weird claims about this or that, people at Snopes, they're going to investigate it, find out the facts, and then bring it back and show you whether, you know, try to bring proof amid whatever the proof, whatever they're being said, whatever was said, whether it was wrong or right, then they tell you whether it was fact or whether it was false. So, a couple of days ago, there was a police officer that came forward and said that police officers act um, the Charlottesville incident or Charlottesville riots or Charlottesville protests, whatever you want to call it, were told to stand down. Well, he said a couple of more things than that, but basically the main thought was he was told, they, they were told to stand down. So right here it says, despite rumors that a no stand down order issued to police overseeing a white supremacist rally termed deadly in Virginia. Right? The police officer said that, the police officer himself said it. Now, Snopes is saying this is false, but let's look at what Snopes is saying is false. The claim police in Charlottesville was issued a stand down order and told let violence happen. Now, before we go even any further, remember that they allowed for a situation to transpire that caused for one lady to already die and about 20 other people to get injured due to a uh, car ramming into a crowd. Well, ramming into a crowd and the back of other vehicles. So... I'm not saying that they could have stopped that. I'm just saying that that is something that happened. Right here it says, On August 15, 2017, the disreputable website New Your Newswire posted a story for report into, quote, an anonymous police officer saying that law enforcement in Charlottesville, Virginia, had been instructed not only to stand down during a violent white supremacist rally, but to instigate violence by purposely bringing rival gangs together in order to start a race war. Now, take into consideration what happened with the car, where that white supremacist individual was absolutely isolated inside of a giant group of the individuals that were there to protest against his protest. Your Newswire dives deep into conspiracy territory, claiming the chaos at the weekend rally was instigated by the deep state, as well as former President Barack Obama and former Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Okay, now, this is where obviously it seems like, or it sounds like, it, they just went absolutely, totally off the rails. I'm just saying, that's what it seems like at this point. That that one statement right there kind of negates anything said before it, because that statement seems so absurd. I'm not saying I agree with it or disagree with it. I'm just saying, you know, at first look, really? The former president and the former Democratic presidential candidate, they had something to do with this? Like, they don't have better things to, to think about? Okay, whatever. New World Order led by the United States by elite operatives Obama, P Podesta, Soros, Clinton and company are pulling out all of, the all of the stops to create division through chaos, destruction. Crowds of paid protesters and useful psychopaths are being sent into pitched battles against one another to sour the mood of the nation and further divide us all. They are manipulating and controlling newsworthy events in order to maintain power and control over the public and to swing public opinion. Okay. Now, once again, if you take out the people that they're saying is actually doing this, that doesn't sound so crazy. If you would have just said the government is pulling all stops to create division, there's so many people that is going to, on both sides of the event, that will jump right on board with that. Sounds like something the government will be doing, right? Just keep all of this into consideration. They are manipulating and controlling newsworthy events in order to maintain power and control over the public. First of all, um, there's been books and many of books written all the way back to the Greeks on how to manipulate the populace. And one of the things that you do do is you create, you know, uh, what they like to call false flags. And that actually works 100% of the time, damn near. You, you're going to get more people towards what you want them to do rather than away from what you want them to do. That works. I'm not saying that that's what's happening, though. So hold on. Let's just a little bit further, and then I'm going to go into my point. 
or you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna display more information and then go into my point. So, we, police, Charlottesville police, were ordered to bring the rival gangs together as soon as they were in contact with, with one another. We were told to stand down. It was outrageous. We weren't allowed to arrest anyone without asking the mayor first. We weren't even allowed to stop the driver as he sped away. The event was being set up as far back as la as 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 at least May, and it went like clockwork. We wanted to do our job to keep the peace. But these mother effers in charge really wanted to destroy America. Okay. Now, first of all, just so we could be 100% clear, if anybody fake this, if it is fake, which Snopes is saying that it is, this particular, whatever this, this guy is talking about, this sounds like the propaganda from the people who are coming to make sure that the statue was not removed. I'm just stating facts. I'm not saying that um, people on both sides of this don't wouldn't have similar opinions. I'm just saying that this is the propaganda that it sounds like the people that wanted to keep the statue up would use. With that being said, the reason in which why all of this was happening was because a town wanted to make sure that a monument that didn't represent the town was removed. Once again, they weren't destroying this monument. They were just removing it. All of these, the individuals that wanted the monument to stay up, they could have just one, put it in their museum. They could have bought it. This, the, the town probably would have gave it away for free <laughs> at this point. They could have just put it in their museum and that would have been the end of it. Just, just okay, so now let's go to the next thing. Wait, hold on. Just real quick, we found no evidence of the supposed, now Snopes is saying, we found no evidence, the supposed quote being shared on the internet features by your news why it is authentic and because it's not only unattributed but vague, we have no way of tracing it, however, it only appears on, so they're not saying that, they're not saying it's false, they're saying that they, they, there's, there's no way to know if it's, if it's real or not, so don't pay it any attention. Right, so... <laughs> White nationalists in Charlottesville fired. Police never move. <laughs> you see how this works? So now Snopes, who I'm going to have to start questioning everything that they're saying over there. Right here it says, as demonstrators clashed near downtown park two weeks ago, a white nationalist protester in a bulletproof vest turned pointing a pistol towards the crowd and fired a single shot into the ground in the direction of a black man wielding an improvised torch to make his escape. A video <laughs> recorded showing the armed protester stroll past a line of a dozen police troops who were safely positioned about 10 feet behind two metal barricades. None of them budge. We all heard it and ran. I know damn well they heard it, said Rosa Parker, a community activist in Charlottesville. They never moved. It says the police had a suspect in custody Saturday morning, according to the officials. It's familiar with the investigation. We request... We requested amenity to provide information. We requested amenity to provide an invasion not yet public, but residents are still demanding to know why officers did not act in real time. It's heavily armed people fought and the car sped away towards a crowd, killing a woman. So stark was the police failure to intervene. Many participants in the protests and counter protests believed it to be designed. Look, folks, I'm not a conspiracy theorist over here. Really not. But one thing that I have to say is, and keep this into consideration, is that there's tons of shit going on, yo. There's just tons of shit going on. It's happening all the time. And unless we keep our eyes open and we pay attention, we could be led to do anything. Anything. So you these are two different opposing factions of people brought into a town and it's just all out craziness. Police is over there. You seen where they showed you where the police was? Now look at the craziness happening. No police is coming to break it up. I cut the volume off on purpose, by the way. No police is coming to look, throwing the lady to the ground. No police. A few minutes. The clashes and, and clashes later, and officers are still not intervening. Look at the police. Right over there, yellow vest. More craziness, nobody's intervening. People could have died. People could have got stabbed. Anything could happen. Anyway, um, I want to know what y'all comments is on this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs.
I love y'all. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.